What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a new device in the content camera or whiteboard camera category. We're taking a look at the Logitech Scribe sitting right here behind me. The Scribe is a fairly unique form factor in this category and it is compatible in both Microsoft Teams as well as Zoom meetings and other video conferencing platforms as well. We're going to take a look at all of its capabilities and features after we get it out of the box and look at all, what all comes in the box. And then we're going to demo its use in a Microsoft Teams room as well as a Zoom room. And we're also going to showcase that one touch share button that comes with the device that mounts right beside your whiteboard. Let's dig in. Logitech Scribe is a whiteboard camera purpose-built for video conferencing in room solutions, notably Microsoft Teams and Zoom Rooms as well as other video conferencing solutions. Scribe works with any whiteboard that is up to 6 feet by 4 feet on any set of dry erase markers. It has a one touch to share button that adheres to the wall beside the whiteboard. The built-in AI allows for a transparency effect, allowing content to be seen clearly on the board at all times. It also provides for sticky note detection and content enhancement, allowing clear and vibrant colors and contrast on the board. And in this shot, you can see we've got all the contents unpackaged minus the extra power adapters. Again, the scribe itself at the bottom of the screen, the category to USB adapter right here, that one touch share button that goes beside the whiteboard, the mounting plate for the wall at the back, the power injector right there, and then we've got both of the cables that will go on either side of that power injector, giving us that 10 meters of cable. Um, and then we've got the wall mounting hardware at the back. Okay, so this is the future home of our Logitech Scribe. This is a three by two whiteboard and the Scribe can support up to a six foot by four foot whiteboard. That is a pretty large whiteboard for a home office. This will do just fine. Now to get started, we're gonna want a measuring tape as well as a pencil or pen. Logitech includes in the setup guide area, this very handy cardboard template. You place the bottom of the area up against the very top of the whiteboard and let it sit nice and flush so that it's not off to the side or tilted in any direction. And then based on that, you will put the, you will make four little holes through the four holes in the template using your pen or pencil on the wall so that you know where to pre-drill for mounting the wall plate. Now, you can't just throw this up here and, and guess at it. You wanna walk into the room and with such a nice camera, you want it to look centered, placed correctly, Appearances are everything, right? So we take the card and we first measure halfway across the whiteboard. Now, this is 36 inches across, so we'll measure it 16 inches. And I did that before doing this video. So I have, if you look up here, got the card nice and flush with the table, saw where it landed up top, and I made our four individual little marks where we need to pre-drill. I also made a little marking for where we're going to cut into the wall because we're going to run our cable into the wall instead of out the side. So we're set up to do some pre-drilling. That's what's required to get your uh, scribe lined up so that when you walk into the room, it's not some eyesore that is this pretty looking camera all off lopsided or not in the center of the whiteboard. Uh, take the time to measure it out and do it right. Taking a look at where we've drilled our holes, we've got our wall plate here. 
and we can see that there are two up arrows. These arrows indicating we want to have that end going upward. We can even see that the holes will line, the holes are a little wider uh, apart from each other at the bottom than they are at the top, which lines up with our holes in the wall. So we put this up here and we can roughly see, yeah, looks like I got these holes to line up. The other thing we need to do is make sure that we get a hole cut in the center that matches the hole in the back of the wall plate. All right, we've got four of these, or if we're screwing into something a little more solid than drywall, there are just four regular screws as well. But we'll use these to mount the wall plate up there. They open up once they're through the uh, drywall and we'll hold it securely in place. With those inserts in place, we can now screw these into the inserts, get ourselves all lined up. Now that we've got the wall plate mounted, we need to get our category cable connected to the backside of the scribe here. Taking a look at the backside of the scribe, you'll see that we've got a few different options. We have the category cable that's gonna plug in right here, and then it will gently wrap around, and we can either wrap it around and bring it out the bottom, we can wrap it around and loop it out the top, uh, and we can even have it come out the side if we need to. In our case, we're going to wrap it around a little bit and have it come out the very back. It's gonna be going through the wall. So we take that 10 meter category cable that we looked at a little earlier. We plug it in. We gently wrap it around here. And then it will come right out like that. All right, we've got our cable run through the wall coming out the back of the scribe. We just need to finish running the last little bit out. And then there is a little metal clip right at the top that will lock right into this layer right up here, holding it firmly in place so that it doesn't want to fall down. So we finish running our cables on through. We get the clips lined up up top. And now it is sitting in place, held on by the clip up top, and it is not going anywhere. There you have it. The Logitech Scribe is installed on the wall halfway across the board maybe halfway across the board. The board fell down at some point during filming and I had to put it back up, so it's approximate at this point, but you'll be more professional in your implementation. We've got it setting up there, it's locked into place, and our cable is run through the wall. We can have the cable coming out the bottom or out the top or off to the side if we needed to. In our case, we'll have the cable hidden completely away. With our scribe mounted up above our whiteboard, it is now time to put that one-touch share button onto the wall. Now there's a few steps that come with this and they recommend that you place this about 30 to 48 inches above the ground. 48 inches would come up to right around here. Yes, I know, I'm short. But I wanna have the placement of this about midway with the height of the whiteboard because I just think it looks better. It's an aesthetics thing, really. So 30 to 48 inches recommended. I'm gonna put it right about here. Now this has an adhesive backing before you pull these tabs for the batteries, you're supposed to mount it to the wall first. So we first pull the adhesive uh, tape cover off the back of this thing, and then we will place it on the wall where we want to have it. Again, try to get things lined up nicely and looking to where the word Logi isn't lopsided or off in some weird angle. We got it on the wall now. We can see that it's pushable, all good. Now that we've got it mounted to the wall, we grab the tabs and we pull those out on either side. With the battery tabs pulled out, it is now active. It knows how to talk to the Logitech scribe. So once we get the scribe plugged in, we will be able to actually have them communicate. And in supported scenarios, we can touch this button and automatically start sharing content into our meeting. First things first, let's ignore all the rat's nest of cables behind this uh, desk leg here. Here we've got our power injector for the Logitech Scribe. And you see we've got Logi right in the front there. We've got in and out. Now, the in is gonna be connected back to our PC on the MTR. The out, or other room system, 
uh, out will be connected to the camera. So we got category cable coming from the camera here, category cable coming from the PC to here. This end here, we attach whatever the proper regional connection is for our power. I've got this one here, we're in the US, so slide that in, it connects in, all good. And then we plug it in, preferably to a wall adapter if you've got a spare adapter that is handy. Once power's in there, again, camera side, this is coming from the camera, will go into the out port. And we have some green blinking, I believe. We are connected in with power to our camera. The scribe is waking up. It just made a cute little ding 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 noise and we've got a light in the center of it indicating that it has power. The second category cable will go from this power injector over to the uh, USB dongle uh, and we'll go ahead and connect it to the in port down below. Got a click. Now that portion is done. Now we just need to get connected up to our computer. Okay, we're almost there. We got the other end of our category cable coming out of the power injector that will go into this USB dongle right here. You see we've got a category port on this side and then we've got USB-A on the other side. So we plug in our category cable here and then finally we bring this back to our PC. In this case, we're plugging it into a Windows MTR, Microsoft Teams room system and we are now fully plugged in with our Scribe. Okay, before we demo this, I wanna talk about supportability or compatibility really quickly. The Logitech Scribe is called out as being compatible on a Microsoft Teams room system running on Windows or Zoom rooms running on Windows. For that one touch share button that we have mounted over to the left of our whiteboard here, that is currently supported on Zoom Rooms running on Windows and it will be supported on Microsoft Teams Rooms running on Windows in the near future. Now in this Microsoft Teams Room system, we have a Logitech tap that is wall mounted. If we click on more and go to our settings, we enter the password and then from within settings, we go to peripherals and on our content camera, it has none selected. We see we've got our Logitech scribe now, so we'll select that. And then one thing, we have this recommended setting, content enhancements. This is actually the AI built into the Microsoft Teams Room app to, when you select a content camera, do the magic clearing away of the rest of the frame that is not the actual whiteboard itself. We wanna uncheck that because the AI built into Scribe will actually do that for us. We want that to take precedence here. Once we've cleared that, we can say preview. The scribe shows us what it's looking at there. It goes in, scans the whole view that it's got, finds the space that's actually supposed to be the whiteboard. And if it is correct, if we like what we see, we go over to the whiteboard and press the purple share button to confirm. We hear the ding, ding, dings, and now that is the space that we will get when we share the Scribe into our meeting. Now that we've set up our MTR with Scribe as the content camera, right here is the setup we'll be using for the MTR in the room. We're using a Rally Plus, so the Rally Bar in the middle and the mic pod and the switch, you can ignore all those, they are not coming into play for our particular scenario. We're looking at the two displays, the rally camera in the middle, the speakers on the side, and we are going to be bringing the scribe in as our content camera. We're gonna go ahead and invite the room to a meeting from a laptop behind me. And as that invite comes in, we'll click join, we'll mute it so that we don't have uh, any weird audio feedback in the room. And now you can see we've got our gallery up on the one side and the other side is not being used yet. Now I'm going to walk over to the tap and click the present button, which will automatically bring the scribe into the call. Present button has been pushed and the scribe is now sharing the already whittled down whiteboard as we already pre-calibrated it in the settings of the tap earlier. 
let's demo what it's like to actually write in the whiteboard and use some of that additional AI that's baked into Scribe. We'll make a little happy face up here, maybe accentuate it a bit. We'll give it some blue hair and maybe a blue nose because why not? And there it is. You can see content on the one side, cameras on the gallery on the, uh, on the right side, and you got to see the Logitech Scribe using its AI capabilities to do the transparency effect takes the what the what is written on the board it makes those colors vibrant and clear and that is using the scribe as a content camera in our microsoft teams meeting okay now we're going to demonstrate using the logitech scribe in a zoom room this is a zoom rooms running on a windows 10 pc we're going to just do a meet now rather than kick off an actual meeting so we say meet now the meeting starts we'll go ahead and turn our camera on with that, the Rally camera has woken up. It's found us. You see me here in my producer spot. You see the Logitech Scribe and the share button over to the left. And uh, yeah, right, right side's really uh, zooming on in there. I'm gonna walk over to the uh, share button itself rather than sharing on the tap. And we're gonna demonstrate how to share just by tapping that button. And now that the Rally camera has found me back over at the whiteboard, We've got the camera right above us and we've got the one touch share button right here. We'll go ahead and tap that. And it's as easy as touching the button. Boom, we are sharing our Logitech Scribe whiteboard into the meeting. Once the AI in the Scribe does its job, we can actually see what it has determined to be the whiteboard. The rest of it is not. We'll click this one more time to confirm. And with that, it is said, okay, that is the usable space of the whiteboard. So now we've got Logitech Scribe up here. You'll notice I put my hand up, we can see through it. We have very vibrant colors on the board. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll make a little triangle up here. We'll make a little sunshine over here. I should be using yellow for that. We'll make a little square down here and we'll make a line through the middle. All that stuff being done and the magic ghostiness of my arm takes effect. We're sharing the whiteboard into our meeting with Logitech Scribe using the one touch share button posted off to the side of the whiteboard. That's a wrap. That was the Logitech Scribe, the share button and demonstrations on how you can bring analog whiteboards into digital meetings like Microsoft Teams or Zoom using both the sharing capability from the Logitech tap as well as the touch button to share your content from the whiteboard into the meetings. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave any questions or comments, even the bad ones, I'll take them, in the comment section below of this video. If you found it helpful, I would greatly appreciate you sharing it around on your LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook or whatever social media profile you feel like sharing it on. Thanks for stopping by. I hope we'll see you back here for the next product overview video.